called the Nelson Mass, but in fact, in my opinion, it has very little to do with Lord Nelson. It really has to do with Napoleon Bonaparte. In fact, Haydn himself, in a catalog a few years later, called it the Mass in Troubled Times. As it turns out, the Nelson Mass was named by the publisher and not Haydn himself. It opens with trumpets and drums. Kyrie eleison, the chorus, enters with this mighty falling octave. And you know right away, this is not your average mass. This is a plea, a, 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 an anguished cry for help. And what is the cry for help? Is it, is it sin? I think this is actually a political piece. It's a cry for help to be rescued from uh, Bonaparte's destruction of the aristocracy of Europe at the time. Conducting APM, I think, for any conductor, would be a rare gift. It's a group that has congealed, grown, matured under David Janauer for 30 years. I've heard the group continue to get better and to, to develop a more mature sound in certain works and just be so much more expressive, have that unity of a group. Stepping into someone's home and becoming a member of the family in a sense that I feel like I'm a subletter, I'm renting a room, and I, and I get to see them in their intimacy, in, in a rehearsal. The sound that they make, this group just luxuriates in vocal sound. It's Troy Savings Bank is one of the best venues in this upstate New York re region, bar none. It is a dream place to perform choral music. It has a great acoustic, beautiful sight lines. It's comfortable, it's an old hall, gentle hall, and so I think it's, it just gives the best of this warmth.